So what is the dish you're doing, first of all? Tom, we're cooking Govan-style native lobster. OK, so the, uh, the lobster here. Lobster here, which we have got it from North Cornwall. OK, so we have here. We got spices uh, from Goa, basically, yeah. the, or Goan characteristics of spices. They use a lot of coconut. We've got mustard seeds, yeah. cloves, coriander, black pepper, red chilli whole. It's a very ca characteristic Goan chilli. They use a bit of turmeric and a bit of garam masala or more of coriander powder based garam masala they use. And we got some chilies, peanuts, ginger garlic paste, yep. tomatoes for my rice. And that's it. And coconut oil, yeah. Of course, and I and can't this, this, is, this is very important to go. This is cooking. extremely important and for go and cooking. Okay, so we got... Tom, I've I dry roasted these spices. Yep. So I would need help from you if you can pulse them just lightly really before I add my toasted coconut, which, okay. which we have toasted dry. So just a little bit of pulsing here? Yes. Toast it nicely, Tom. Yes. I need a nice paste. Okay, paste, okay. okay. And again, you're, when you're dry roasting, you're taking all those flavours out, aren't you? The... Yes, when you dry roast it, the essential oils come out. Yeah. And when you make a paste, they kind of get mixed up and something rich like coconut. Yeah. They will get mixed properly and get immersed uh, or released in the sauce easily. And again, traditionally, would this be passion and mortar? Would you do it? I mean, yes. Oh, much easier, yeah. Right? Yeah, so. more traditional type. Okay, I will add, need to add some ginger garlic paste here. Okay. So in the pan there, you've got onions just cooking away there. Yeah, which is light brown in colour. Yeah. Okay, I've added ginger garlic paste to that. You need to colour the onions just at this stage, which is golden brown in yeah. colour. Beyond that, it will be black and burnt. Okay. So, so you don't want that. And ginger garlic paste, when you cook ginger garlic paste, you have to take a whiff like that. So it has to be nice, cooked flavour should come and out. And you don't want it burning, though, do you? You really don't want to burn. Just because that gives it bitter. Okay, yeah. No? Just going to add a little bit of coconut. So the coconut goes in there. And again, you've just this is just a dry roasted coconut. That's right, that's right. Right. And for, for this, we have turmeric. Yep. And again, are you using that more for colour than flavour? Is it? I mean, it's, it's more bit for flavor. colour, yeah. yeah. A little bit of flavour. Turmeric doesn't have too strong a flavour until unless you add great quantity. Yeah. And what I have here is tamarind paste. Oh. Now, how do you make that? It's you, One should buy a tamarind pulp, yeah. a block of tamarind, and uh, soak it in lukewarm water. Yeah. And then you should extract it. You have to use your hands for that. And just sort of just yeah, get strain all it. Stuff. Absolutely. And then you strain it through a fine sieve. Okay. It's a beautiful all. yellow colour. I just need to add a little bit of coconut milk just so that it makes a nice. You want a paste there. Yeah. This is like a coconut medley here. Okay, Tom. That looks great to me. Okay. If you can just go and sort of these lobster tails. Okay. For me. So you just keep an eye on me for that. A little bit of seasoning. Okay. I'll get that out for you. Uh, I'll look it, you can get it. Okay, I'll get, I'll get it. Thank you. Okay, so you just want them literally just not quite cooked. I think yeah. I'm just about managed to smack you. <laughs> I'm watching you like a hawk. Oh. <laughs>